use hung up on and then an object when you are worried about something. Notice that the verb be is often used with hung up on. You can also use the verb get. These two will change. This won't change. You can't put this in the past. You just have to use this past participle. This is acting as an adjective phrase, or you can call it a, an idiom. might be easier if you just say that this is an idiom. He is, here's the verb be, hung up on, and then here's the thing. This is not action. This is similar to worried about and then the thing. He is worried about and then this object. Look at the difference between these two sentences. He is hung up on her. Here's the verb be. And he hung up on her. This is used for phones. If you hang up on a person, then you end the call. If you are hung up on something or a person, then you are thinking about it all the time or you're worried about it all the time. He is hung up on it. Remember that this is the verb be and it changes according to the subject. This is in the present tense. He is hung up on it or he's hung up on it. If I put it in the past tense, just change this to was. You can make it present perfect. He has been hung up on it. You can change this to get also. Remember that get sometimes is a substitute for be. He gets hung up on it. Or you can say he got hung up on it. Or you can use become. That's another possibility. He becomes hung up on something. Or he became hung up on it. And other verbs that are similar to be as linking verbs. You can use seem. He seems hung up on it. When a situation is important to a person, he or she can become hung up on it. She's hung up on her boyfriend. She thinks about him all the time. He's hung up on his job. He thinks about it all the time. People are often hung up on problems. I'm hung up on this problem. This could be anything. It could be a math problem. It could be a problem that you're having with a machine or with your computer or with a person or a relationship. I'm hung up on this. You don't have to use a noun here. I'm hung up on this or I'm hung up on it. But you need something here. You need something after the preposition. If you say only I'm hung up on and there's nothing here, then it will sound strange. In the form of a command, when you talk to another person, you can say, don't get hung up on it. Don't worry about it. It's not that important. Sometimes people worry too much about something, whatever it is, and it's not necessary. Don't get hung up on it. People get too hung up on politics. While this might be important, whatever the situations are, if a person gets too hung up on it, that person becomes 
obsessed. If a person gets too hung up on anything, that leads to an obsession, and that's not good. You shouldn't get hung up on, and then here's the condition or the situation. You shouldn't get hung up on age. A person's age doesn't matter. You shouldn't get hung up on cost. The price of something doesn't matter sometimes. You shouldn't get hung up on the color. Everyone has a preference for color, but in some cases, the color just doesn't matter that much. So you shouldn't get hung up on the color. I get too hung up on my work. This is the substitute for B. If we changed get to B, then it would be am. I am too hung up on my work. This is something that people get too hung up on. They worry about their jobs or their employment or their activities that they are obsessed with them and become too concerned about what they do.